Hi everyone, uh, we are going to solve another Singapore math problem and today we are going to see a problem that's applicable for grade 5 and grade 6. Alright, let's dive straight into the problem. Jason and Kevin had 48 stickers. Jason gave one fourth of his stickers to Kevin. Kevin then gave one third of the stickers that he had to Jason. At the end, both had the same number of stickers. How many stickers did each of them have at first? All right. So I've written them down in statements so that it's uh, easier for us to solve. First, uh, we know that Jason and Kevin had 48 stickers. So let's start record them down. Jason and Kevin, they had 48 stickers. Now, where do we start this problem? We start at a point where we know the relationship between the number of stickers Jason has and versus with the number of stickers Kevin had. And that is at the end. At the end, both had the same number of stickers. You see, the total number of stickers does not change. So we can start from here when we know that both had the same number of stickers, which means 48 divided by 2, so is 24. So Jason had 24 and Kevin had 24 at the end. Now in terms of uh, picture, we can represent it something like this. An equal sized box drawn to represent 24 and this 24. They are equal here. Right? Now, before they became equal, what happened before they became equal? That is one step before. That is, Kevin then gave one third of the stickers he had to Jason. So, after Kevin gave one third of the stickers he had to Jason, then they both had equal number of stickers. So, what does that mean? Say, Kevin gave one third of the stickers that he had to Jason. Which means, see, whatever stickers Kevin had, he divided into three parts. So he had three out of three parts. And one out of three parts he had given to Jason. So he remaining, what he has is two out of three parts. Which means he has two equal parts right now. And one another part, which is of the same size as this, was given to Jason. So which would be like the same sized unit. So you can see that one, two, three, these three units actually were with Kevin and this one was given to Jason by Kevin. That's what this statement says. So let's undo that. Let's bring it back. And before that, since these two are equal units, we know that 24 divided by two, 12. So each unit is 12 here. And we know that by size, this also should be 12 and this also should be 12 because they are of the same sized units. All right. Now we are going to reverse uh, what happened. Basically, we are going to bring back what Kevin had at first. So that's Kevin. So this was what Kevin had. He had three out of three parts, one of which we gave to Jason and he was left with two parts. Now that we are giving him back. All right. So then we have to move on to the next step. So here we have clear that each of these is 12 and this is also 12. And one step before this, that is before Kevin gave one third of the stickers, right? We come to this, Jason gave one fourth of his stickers to Kevin and after that only Kevin had this many stickers. So Jason gave one fourth of his stickers to Kevin, which means, see, whatever stickers Jason had, he divided into four equal parts. And out of that four equal parts, he had four out of four. He gave one part to Kevin, which means he'll be left with three parts out of the four parts he had. So you can see that Jason had three equal parts in here and one part that he had here was given to Kevin. And from the size, we can clearly see that this is three units, 
which means this will be three units this will be three units and this should also be made up of three units right so what is the next step is we are going to give back what Jason had so we're just going to go one step back because Jason had four units out of which he gave one unit so that is being returned back and since this three units is equal to 12 we clearly know that one unit is equal to 4 so the question is how many stickers did each of them have at first that's why we are trying to go back to the beginning at the beginning Jason had four units and we know that one unit is 4 so 4 times 4 is 16 Jason had 16 stickers and Kevin had three, six, eight. So eight units and each unit is four, which means he had four times eight, which is 32 units. So in this particular question, what we are focusing is on, we try to find out a place where we can establish the relationship between the two quantities. And in this case, it's at the final end. Then we try to go uh, one step at a time to the beginning of the question and solve this hope it was helpful um, if you have questions as usual drop in uh, in the comments section do like share and subscribe to my channel have a great day and happy learning bye